Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Luck Light Plays. We're continuing our run through of Circle of the Moon, and uh, you'll be happy to know, hopefully, that uh, I did pick up the Mars card from the Blood Sword, and now we have sword abilities. So we're gonna play with them now. Yeah, nice little flame sword going now. So we'll be able to rip through these guys, hopefully. And we also have a nice sword as well. That swings very fast in a upward arc. And we have one of my favorite ones here is the rose sword. Unfortunately, it doesn't work very well on the blood swords, but for most enemies it does. And a big ol' hammer. Kind of hard to use. And we have cockatrice. Look like tonfas. Try these out a little bit. And they actually petrify as well. Poison. We have claws. Which don't seem to be doing too well. I can't hit anything with them. And for this ability, we have like a little Iajutsu strike that I can charge up. Which, uh, I'm not that good with. So. We'll stick with the fire sword for now. Alright, so. That was a little uh, test drive of those. Fortunately, I got quite a bit beat up doing them. But we actually get some uh, really cool ones as we get more elements. Uh, I think the last one which unfortunately I don't think I might even get on this playthrough because you need to go through a really tough area and uh, if you don't get the card like in that certain room like that first time you have to go through the entire area again just to get another shot at it so I may not be able to get it but I'll try um, you actually get a gun which is very strange. I think you also get a holy sword too. Right, these bloody swords are still annoying. So let's just skip through it. Here and we're gonna get ourselves through this. Now that we can. Now it's a lot easier. <laughs> oh, I screwed that up. Good save there. <laughs> Maybe not. So I'm gonna switch back to fire. And I'll keep it off for now. But yeah, those will uh, come quite in handy in terms of bosses and stuff. Actually, the rose sword. Uh, once I get stronger. I thought, I thought it was doing very little damage, because I was doing. Oh, no. Oh, you know what it is? If you hit with the actual sword. It does good, decent damage. If you hit with the rose petals that shoot out of it, 
then it's not so much. Right, did I go up here yet? No. I'm trying to figure out where the hell I am. Oh, I am cursed now. I can't use my sword or whip. Paying attention. I got, got the evil curse on me. May have to wait it off. Alright, there we go. Which co in combination with the swords are very annoying. I think I still could have used my damn cross. I don't know why I didn't do that in the first place. Secret area. Whoosh, there we go. Alright. So I think there is a... Another save point around here somewhere. And I walked into him again. No, I can't even use my cross. So let's... Try to run. Alright, here we go. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, when you're facing those guys, pay attention. <laughs> don't, don't get hit by them. I mean, granted, I could have, uh, <clears throat> you know, I could have, uh, probably used an item to just remove the curse, but there's nothing there. I forgot to. <laughs> I forgot that was an option. Yeah, so the, those guys are a lot easier to hit. Now that I have that. Uh, I think this room just leads up, so need to traverse this room here. I always get hit by those. Yeah, level up. <laughs> Wristband. I have a ton of those. Yeah, so the uh, the rose sword actually does improve your range as well. Like hitting him on the tip with the rose petals is you know, not as tough, but it uh, does count as damage, and I think it's just a little bit more range. Okay, so I could go up, and I think there's another thing to the right, so... Just jump across. Just walk by that guy. Oh, yes. Back to this. It's a lot easier with the sword. <laughs> right, back to the rose sword. As I will jump right into the guy. Alright, so looking at my map here. Our destination is up here. It also becomes easier to hit all the enemies that are on the ceiling as well, uh, naturally, as opposed to having to do some crazy dives. Well, at least it's only one damage. Fighting the old favorites again. I 
believe there's a secret room here. Yeah. There it is. Just got a Gorgon in it. How much extra damage I'm doing with that sword. I love it. Right, so I don't know if there's anything further up. I think you have to... Ooh. That was a stupid move. I think I have to kind of work my way around the room. Alright, don't jump. There we go. Too many enemies on screen, it looks like. Oh. Alright, so. Which way now? Let's try this way. And also, I think that's one of the reasons why I seem to be decent with, right, I, I'd like to say I'm decent with, uh, the jump strikes, because I'm so used to using a sword. Alright, so I worked my way around, and now I'm here. I almost jumped right into that sword. So I made sure I did it anyway. <laughs> Bad breath here. Ooh, what's that? It's a cure curse. At least now I know that I have it. And hard upgrade. Gotta get those hearts. I'm trying to figure out how a marionette would curse you. I thought they would just kind of float around and be creepy. Get back up here. Kind of hit you with their wooden arms for a little bit. That'd be it. But the curse makes them the one of the most annoying enemies. <laughs> They're dropping uh, quite a few cure curses, just in case. Thanks for dodging that attack there, sword. Alright, so which way? I think there's another upgrade around here somewhere. Maybe not. Maybe it's down here? No, that was a brick. I think we're actually getting close to the boss. Too, so. What's going on, Panther? <laughs> Alright, you're annoying. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Oh, I got shot. save points. Alright, I think a boss is uh, either coming up next or it's pretty much close. So, oh, what the hell did I do? I got a strength ring. So, you know what? There may be a chance I lose this boss. I'm going to save it one more time just to keep that strength ring. Otherwise, I wouldn't have done it. my defense and intelligence. Makes me dumber. But I'm stronger now. Alright, so this time let's not jump down the hole. Alright, boss.
last time. Whoa. <laughs> you just got chucked the hell out. Dude. <laughs> just, I just walk out anyway. This guy's kind of tough up for me, right? Shoot Fireball City over here. Oop, here comes the skulls. Super close, but I got him. Alright, so all of the statues in the uh, in the castle have now broken. So that opens up more places to go. Now I need to get back without dying. <laughs> He's gonna be like, God damn it. <laughs> yeah, so <laughs> they travel together. But this guy just has real vendetta all of a sudden. But I did defeat it. Oh, yeah, that's right. He's also pissed off that I can use the vampire killer whip and he can't. something called the Hunter Whip. Yeah, so I have a claim to this. My parents helped. <laughs> Whatever, buddy. Alright, so let's, let's get back to that save point without, uh, Eaten. Taking the big sleep here. Alright, so all the statues are now destroyed, so now we have more options on where we can go. I'm probably gonna just head to the next area and not go all the way back around and see if I can open up, you know, extra bonuses or whatever. I'll just, I'll do that after. Because I think the uh, next area is actually pretty close by, and it would be kind of silly just to not, you know, go that way. But to do that, I must go all the way down, down the chapel tower. You know what, sword? Get out of here. At least they're one-hit kills now. Oh, I walked into it. And that one, too. Run! This way? What is that way? Oh, yeah, that's a place I can't go yet. Oh, that guy's new. 
new enemies are popping up. I don't know if he drops a card or not. I don't think I, think I already got the card that he would drop. But if all else fails, I'll come back and grab it. So I like how his idea of thunder is just little energy balls. No, seriously, I do like that. <laughs> if it was actual thunder, like, just crackling and ripping me apart, then yeah, I'd have a problem. Like something undodgeable. Alright. So I think I need to go... I know I need to go all the way down. I just keep... I keep thinking there's, like, one in between that I can grab. <laughs> I got rid of them all. Alright. Is it in this room? No. Still farther down. Slide through. This is where we first stopped. So I will save real quick. It's actually uh, near the room. Uh, with the portal. So let's head back that way. More Thunder Armors. Landed right on that energy ball. <laughs> the stairwell is what's screwing me up here. We'll do without that. So I need to replenish my hearts at some point. I'll use quite a bit for that boss. There we go, level up. Alright. Oh yeah, I could go, uh... I could go all the way to the left, and that was the one that we uh, saw earlier. So let's head there. this. I didn't even see the smoke. <laughs> One day I will fight these things and not get hit by a fireball. <laughs> It's a simple pattern, too. You'd think I would get it, but apparently not. Alright, so this statue is now broken, so I can pass through. Alright, face seems. You throw rocks. Which I guess makes sense. For. But, which way can we go? I think there was more stuff to the right. Which probably involves that, uh, oh yeah. That platform. Ooh, how do we get up there? Oh, I see what I have to do. Slide through it. We're gonna give it a couple tries and then we'll, we'll call it. And hup, and hup. Nope. Can't jump through it. What I think I need to do is I'm gonna need to probably switch to the ice sword. Hmm. 
Or maybe not. And then slide. Got it. Alright. I'll call that a success. Alright, so on the next episode, we will continue through this underground gallery. And uh, then we're probably going to have to uh, look for uh, like secrets and stuff. So, hope you join me for that. Uh, I think the next boss is actually a dragon. <laughs> if I remember correctly. That's fun. Oh, hey. Jerk. Anyway. Uh, so, hope you join me for the next episode. My name is Lucklight. Thank you for watching, and have a good one.